and action. Ow! Hey, it's Kevin and Fred. Do you have a referral for us here in Phoenix? There are 30,000 agents here that you could send them to. Why us? Well, for one thing, we'll keep you updated and you'll never have to track down your commission. We'll also make you look really good to your client. And best of all, it helps us keep all this content free. So go to kevinandfred.com slash referral to make the introduction. We'll take great care of them. All right, we're back. Chris Heller, how's it going, buddy? It's been a while since you and I had a chance to catch up. It's going great, Kevin. How you been? Doing good, man. I, uh, I can't complain at all. Uh, I'm excited to talk to you. Um, I mean, you and I, have, we've chatted a few times kind of like personally, uh, but you, we, did a, we did a podcast episode, gosh, a year, a little more than a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And then recently, I got to, I got to interview your buddy, John, uh, there from Ojo, and we had a really good conversation and I got a ton of good feedback on that. So when, uh, when I got the opportunity to, to sit down with you again and do kind of round two here, I thought, uh, let's no time like the present, let's go for it. So man, what's been going on in your world? First of all, that doesn't look like your normal background. Are you, are you, are you at the <laughs> office at there at the Ojo labs? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm 30 hours away by car. I, I know because I drove it. I am in uh, Whitefish, Montana. I've been working from here. I came up here at the beginning of June to work for a month, and uh, I'm still here. Man. Uh, so uh, that month turned into a, a long month. And this is a house that uh, is, is just starting to be demoed and then remodeled. That's awesome, man. Uh, so I was going to say 30 hours. That's a heck of a commute to the office. So I guess it's a good thing. Uh, it's, it's shorter from, from, from Scottsdale. So when you come up to visit. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to that already, by the way. So um, I've, not, I've not been there yet. So I'm, I'm absolutely looking forward to visiting Montana and, uh, and checking that out. But so let's, uh, let's, let's fast forward a little bit. Like what's been going on in your real estate? Well, let's talk about kind of real estate world. Obviously you've got the team in San Diego still, and, and you spend a lot of time in Austin, I guess, when you're not in Montana these days. Um, talk to me about what's been going on in your world. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the team in San Diego is rocking and rolling. The market, um, like many markets around the country has very little inventory. Things are, you know, crazy, crazy, uh, frenzy type situations with with offers and people trying to get in homes um, you know personally i've been um, moving around a lot of real estate investments uh selling some buying some uh helping uh some other people with some instant offers and those type of things and then and then ojo where we're um, you know we had a big acquisition that we announced um, about a month and a half ago um, where we bought uh, Mavoto.com, which is the a top five real estate portal, uh, the fifth most uh, frequently visited uh, real estate portal in the country. So, um, one of the best known or best uh, kept secrets when it comes to real estate portals. But yeah, I was gonna say I never would have guessed like without without you telling me or me hearing that I never would have guessed that like, hey that's one of the top five portals. Um, yeah. Talk about yeah, talk about a best kept secret for sure. Yeah, we're right on the heels of uh, Redfin. So, um, yeah, and so that so that's exci- been really exciting. And, and one of the exciting things about it is it now puts us in a position to where we can start taking those consumers that, that fill out a form on Mavoto. We talk to them, we vet them, we qualify and make sure that they want to and are ready to be introduced to an agent. And then we are just now launching the Ojo Select network of referral agents that we can introduce those those consumers to yeah that's uh that's pretty awesome like when i when i saw the acquisition um i thought okay that's huge because i know you know just from talking to john and in, in, in you and stuff over the, over uh the last year or two and learning about what ojo does i'm like okay that's a huge step in a great direction to be able to create um you know some more business and prove out what you guys are doing which which i think is awesome and to be able to team with one of the top five portals or, or acquire one of the top five portals. I think that's going to be a lot, going to allow you guys to, to really speed up the progress of which you guys have been working on, which is some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, no, it is. And like I said, we just like just now, you know, as we are speaking are, are opening up the, the referral network so agents can join it and, and be one of the first ones in their market to, um, to be in line for the introductions that we'll be making. 
So tell me, so tell me a little bit about that. Like what's the, um, like, what is the, the referral network? Like if someone, someone signs up today, let's say, let's say go to the link and hopefully you can give me one. I'll, I'll add it to the, to the notes here, but uh, let's say someone got signed up. What, what, what could they expect? What's that relationship partnerships going to look like with Ojo? Yeah. So when, again, when a consumer, uh, you know, is in either in Ojo using the product or fills out a form on a, on a website like Movoto, immediately we contact that consumer and have a conversation with them and find out how we can best help them. And uh, many times they are wanting to see a property or get a question answered and they want to talk to an agent to do that. Um, or they're in the buying, you know, they're somewhere in the buying process, either just the beginning or they're, they've already found the home they want to make an offer on and they just need help. Uh, so what we do then is via a live transfer process, we connect them with one of our Ojo Select uh, network agents. Typically what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll ping you know, via an SMS a text message up to five agents and the first one that responds, the first one that's available, gets the introduction. Uh, when they, uh, we introduce them via phone, we have a concierge team who within 24 hours usually will connect with the, the consumer and the agent uh, to make sure that they're off on a good fit and that, con that concierge stays in communication with both parties throughout the whole process. Uh, when, uh, when, there's, when, they're, when they've successfully helped that person buy or sell a home, then they pay us a, a referral fee and the referral fees uh, go up to 35%. That's awesome, man. What a, what a great opportunity to, to be able to work with some pre-qualified leads, number one, as an agent, uh, and you know, continue building out your business and database. But um, a way for you guys to, to, number one, come in and do what do what Ojo does right on the on the front side of the transactions and um, as well as just like build deeper relationships and br really arm the agent like truthfully like when I when I saw the idea of Ojo and you when you told me about it, I thought well, what an amazing tool for us as agents to be able to to put into our to our business and now now you're telling me like we can sign up for this and 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 it's ready to go today that's awesome. Yeah, we, um, we've just launched in our first market. We'll be in over 20 markets uh, within the next month and then nationwide not too long after that. So, uh, yeah, this is the time for any agents that are interested. Now, I say any agents. We are looking for, for top agents. And by top agents, I mean, you know, agents that have been in the business for at least three years. And typically, we're looking for agents in most markets that, that have sold at least 25 homes in the previous year. Um, the reason for that is we know that, that top agents know how to provide a great experience. And that's something that's really important to us that that consumer gets a great experience. Yeah, for uh, sure. Usually we relax those numbers depending on coverage or the marketplace. But um, for the most part, that's, those are the type of agents we're looking for. That's pretty awesome. And so if I'm a, if I'm a listener uh, or a viewer, you know, if you happen to be watching this inside next level agents or listening on the podcast, I can go to the link and I'll, I'll put the link in both places but go there effectively fill out like an application and then it'll get sent over to someone to review. Yeah. It'll take them to a landing page where they'll all the information on the Ojo select, select network is there. And at the end of it, there's a application button. They hit the application. Um, we process the application, which goes very quickly. And then, uh, and then if they are um, approved, we docusign a, referral agreement out to them and their broker that covers uh, all the referrals that they get from Mojo. So they don't have to do a new referral agreement every time we connect them with someone. And, uh, and then we're off and running. That's pretty awesome, man. If you had to guess like, and I, I know this is like kind of, you know, you guys are just rolling this out, but like, what are the two or three things that if any, I'm an agent, I'm listening to this and I'm going, Hey, I want to do this. What are the couple of things I should be thinking about to make sure I'm successful, to make sure this relationship's good and win-win for both myself uh, and Ojo and the consumer? That's a great question. And that's not, that's not a question that a lot of agents or enough agents ask. <laughs> so I'm glad you did. So, you know, what we look for, so once an agent's on board and we're, we're introducing them to buyers and sellers, there's really three things that, that we're going to, um, that we're going to measure really closely uh, on how that agent's performing. And so these are the three things that an agent should focus on. Uh, one is customer satisfaction. You know, when we survey the customer, are they saying, wow, Kevin was awesome. I don't know what I would have done without him. So glad you guys introduced me to him. Or are they saying, uh, you know, don't ever mention that guy's name again. I don't want to think about it. 
Of course, we know it would be the, the former. Uh, the, <laughs> other two so. things, the other two things that we look at are responsiveness, you know, how, how, responsiveness is the, how responsive is the agent to the consumer, to our concierge team, to the process, are they, are they updating? Uh, we give them some, some um, simple and easy to use agent tools to update us on the status and where they're at in, with the referrals. And, and, and those updates are important. And then the third thing is, are they converting? You know, are they helping these people actually buy and sell homes? And those are the things that, you know, if I'm an agent and I'm joining a network like this, my goal is going to be to get as many of these introductions as possible, right? I have my core Absolutely. business and I'm going to keep building my business, but hey, these are new introductions. How can I get as many as possible? I want to get the most in my marketplace. Well, then it comes down to performing, you know, customer satisfaction, responsiveness, and, and converting. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, and that all makes sense. Like if you, the way I look at it is if you're doing those three things anyways, you're probably running a good business and you probably qualify first of all with like your, you know, with your initial qualifications to be to even be considered for the program. So um, I think those are, those are three things that we should all be striving for on some level and some measurement in our business regardless uh, anyway. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. And then same, you know, the same goes for the teams, right? If they're, you're, um, if I'm running a team and I'm, I'm, and I'm joining a referral network like this, then I'm going to make sure that, the people on my team that are interacting with these consumers are going to be the best people on my team. Maybe not everyone on my team uh, because I'm going to be yeah. judged by how they do. So I want to put my, you know, I want to put the A team out there. Yeah. And if I'm thinking just like with my team owner hat on, right, which is I want to, I want to open up that spigot as large as I can because I want to, you know, like bring, bring them on. Like how many transactions can we get? Um, obviously if I'm going to do that and I know I'm being graded, then I want to make sure that, that we are using, our best people and that we're providing the best service and getting, getting that score, you know, whatever that I say scoring, cause that's just kind of where my head goes to um, getting the highest score possible. So that way we can have effectively as much as we want or as much as we can handle. Right. Yeah. And your, your mind went to scoring because you're thinking about the Monday night football game tonight. <laughs> that I am. There's no it's denying it's that Chris. A lot of points. I've been waiting for this game for a long time and yeah, we are going to have to score a lot of points. My guess is that number is going to have to start with a four uh, <laughs> if we're going to even be in it. Like they're, the Saints are, they are competitive and they score a lot of points. So I'm guessing we're going to have to score at least 40 tonight. Oh, well, I, I wish you the best. Yeah, me too. Uh, hopefully that'll be good for opening uh, first game in Vegas. So for yeah. those of you who uh, aren't, aren't football fans uh sorry that you had to listen to that for those of you who are you know exactly what we're talking about and uh we're i'm pretty excited about it chris knows i'm a i'm a diehard raiders fan so all right man um what what else is like is there anything else to ask you specifically whether it's about ojo overall or um your business you know in san diego or specifically even in the program too that that i probably should have asked you about that i didn't no i mean the the other thing that i spend a decent amount of time doing is just talking about the, the market and the industry in general. And it's obviously a super interesting time. Uh, we see, you know, consumer behavior is changing. People are reevaluating where they live and, and um, heck, if I, I wouldn't be in Montana right now. If the pandemic hadn't happened, I'd be in Austin, and, you know, sitting in my office talking to you from a conference room, but you know, our lives have changed and, and people talk about when, when are things going back to normal? Um, I would suggest people reevaluate what they mean by normal because there's certain things that aren't going back. You know, there's people, people are, are thinking about things differently. They've gotten in new habits and, and a lot of that's going to persist and continue to evolve and, and morph into to what the next normal is. Yeah. You know, you raised a good point there, Chris, cause you know, I was thinking about like, obviously, you know, for you and I, talk fairly, fairly regularly. And I remember you called me the day, um, or I called you one, one or the other, I, either I called you, you called me the day you decided to buy that house and, uh, you know, have that 30 hour commute. And I remember thinking like, man, things, things definitely are different. Like when you put your, when you put your realtor hat on Chris, like, and you think about the team in San Diego and Encinitas, like, um, what do you think? Hey, here's the things we got to get better at to make sure that we're still, meeting the demands of our consumers like what are you guys seeing in your business that uh maybe is different today there's there's a couple things one is um and this is going to sound really fundamental 
and basic, but if, if the team isn't constantly making new connections and deepening the connections that we have, then we're going to become irrelevant. So that's, that's one thing. The second thing is understanding what consumers are going through, which is now probably easier than it has been in the past because almost everyone's going through the same thing, right? We're all in this together. So in the past, you know, when you're interacting with the consumer, you, you really wouldn't know, you know, where they're at, what they're thinking about, but we pretty much know where, what everyone's thinking about now to a certain extent, right? They're, they're reevaluating, um, you know, is their home the right home for their new lifestyle? Is it big enough? Is it the right floor plan? Are they living in the area? Um, people are thinking about, uh, you know, there was a stretch. Um, there's been actually a couple of stretches as I look back over the last 30 some years where, where second homes became uh, really important to people. And we see that happening now. And I got to believe in, in your market that you're really seeing that too, where people are going, wow, you know, I, I need to have another place to go to. And whether it's permanent or whether it's for a portion of the year, you know, we see people now, a lot of second home markets are really starting to boom. Um, and people going from those, uh, you know, from a more urban setting to a suburban type setting. So just understanding that and then knowing how to communicate with consumers about what's happening and the trends they are. Um, on top of that, we have these interest rates that are just so deliciously low. That, right. Um, you know, I, uh, I know myself and, and we're making sure all our clients are either taking advantage on the buy-in end or if not, if if they're still st sitting at a 4% or higher interest rate, we're, we're introducing them to our lender to make, help save them money and uh, better their position. Yeah. I'll tell you, Fred and I do like a weekly kind of a, we call it industry headlines where we're just talking about news, what's going on in the industry. And I can't tell you how many times in the last few months we've seen as we're doing our homework for it, like record low, record low mortgage rates, just week. It feels like it's week after week after week. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's about as close to free as that money could possibly be. Yeah, it is. Um, I'd say one other thing from an agent's perspective that I hope agents are doing is I hope that they are um, being super productive, super profitable, and, 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 and saving up money to take advantage of, of opportunities because opportunities will come. Yeah, no doubt about that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's funny, I think, I think back to the kind of the beginning of all this, you know, we're talking, you know, Craig Rieger, um, you know, we were talking with Craig about it and how it's, it was so easy to just kind of sort of be scared with everything that was going on. Um, but then you, you know, you look inside your market and the activity, the amount of activity that's been going on during this um, really rough time overall in, in life, you know, where it has caused a lot of financial hurt. Um, there's a lot going on in that, that stuff like that. Like, we can choose to hide or we can choose to be productive. Like I know we're selling a ton of homes here in Phoenix. You guys are in Southern California. Um, we're, and selling provides... them so to, we're selling them so they can move to Phoenix. <laughs> and you are. And I thank you very much for that, by the way. <laughs> um, and ho hopefully we get some more of those, but you know, the reality is, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity both on the business and to your point here, you know, saving up, um, saving up that income because there are some huge opportunities, especially with interest rates so low. Yeah. There's, um, you know, one of the, I think one of the best things that we can do is, is in, in any situation, is focus on the opportunity. You know, that's not to ignore the challenges or the difficulties or the hardships that some people are, that are, um, that are enduring. But with every one of those, there's an opportunity. And, and we have to make sure that we are looking for those uh, and very, making a very conscious effort to look for those. Yeah. That's a, that's a great point. Um, well, with that, Chris, I, I won't take up too much more of your time. Anything else that I should have asked or we should have touched on today before we get out of here? No, I think you uh, hit on it. We told everyone I have a team in San Diego, so they know who to send the referrals. Send the referrals to. there. The Ojo Select Network, if you're listening to this, we're going to limit the number of agents per zip code. So don't delay. Don't put it off. Like we do a lot of things, join the network. So that we can start introducing you to buyers and sellers and help you build your business. Awesome, man. Well, Chris, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your schedule. I appreciate it. Go outside and enjoy that beautiful uh, landscape you've got up right outside your home and uh, outside your office, I should say, at this point. And uh, we'll talk again soon, man. Hey, thanks for having me on, Kevin. Appreciate All right, buddy. it.
Talk to you later. Yeah.